Hey everyone and welcome to Techie Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Tekken SmartSocket SP23. So having a quick look around the box, we can see this is the twin pack and it also works with Amazon Alexa and also Google Assistant. Turning the box on its side, it gives us a little bit more information, Wi-Fi connected, app control, voice control, and also we can set some timers. On the back, we've got a little bit more specific information on working temperature, Wi-Fi frequency, and note this, it is only 2.4 gigahertz. So you need to make sure that if you're on dual band or on five gigahertz, you need to be able to swap down and actually run 2.4 gigahertz. And on the other end of the box we've got a QR code that allows you to download the app either to your iOS device or your Android device. Okay opening the box up straight away we can see our two smart plugs and we also have a fairly detailed user manual which will actually quite surprise me because it was actually quite detailed normally you get some very basic instructions which can be badly translated into English but these were fairly detailed and gave a lot of information on how to initially set up and also how to connect to Alexa. Now these plugs actually do feel very very well made on the side we've got a power switch that QR code again to downloading the app, a little bit more information, and that is really it for the smart plug. Now setting up the app is really easy. You either scan the QR code with your phone or just go to your Play Store or App Store and look for Smart Life app. Once it's installed, go ahead, open it up. You will need to register. Now this only takes a couple of minutes and is really, really straightforward. Now once registered, you need to go ahead and add your smart plug into the app. So obviously make sure your smart plug is actually in a wall socket and just follow the instructions and it is that simple. The app will then go looking for your smart plug that you've got switched on. This process takes around about a minute but the good thing is when you go adding additional smart plugs it will actually remember your wi-fi code so you don't have to keep enter that every time you add a smart plug now once your smart plug's been set up you're good to go, you can manually switch it on and off, or you can set timers, or if you've got Alexa or Google Assistant, you can actually go then integrate the Google Assistant or Alexa to actually give it voice commands. One of the other neat features of this smart socket is that you can set up a schedule, so if you're going away for a couple of days, you can have lights or other devices coming on and off to make it look like somebody's in the house. Now one of the downsides is that the plugs are just slightly bigger than a standard UK plug. So if you want to plug a couple of these in an extension lead, you're going to have to leave a plug socket in between them as a gap as they just won't fit side by side. So now that I've got a light plugged in, I wanted to test the app's responsiveness to the plug. And as you can see, it is really responsive. You tap it within milliseconds the light is on or is switched off now as you can see i've got quite a few sockets there but you can actually go into individual sockets and play around with some of the settings switch them on and off and as you can also see is you've got a countdown timer so if you want a light to go off say within a minute or 10 minutes of you leaving your house or something like that you can actually set that timer let it run and the light will either switch on or switch off for you Now I touched on this earlier, this is where you set up your schedule where you can have your light go on, off at a particular time of the day or even on particular days of the week. 
Now, if you go back into your list of sockets, and if you want to change the name of the socket, this is where you do this. You can actually sort of edit at the top, and then here you can get device information. You can actually change the name of your device, give it a location, maybe even give it a new icon, should you wish. Also in here, you can create groups. So if you've got two or three of these smart plugs in your bedroom and say they've got lights attached to them, you can actually switch them all on or all off with one switch as opposed to having to do them individually. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll leave all links in the description to these smart plugs. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.